Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is a stock chart update. We are going to focus on Baidu, Candy, SoFun, and Sina. So four Chinese ADR stocks. We last looked at these about two weeks ago. Uh, so we're going to start off here with Baidu. And there's really no change in my wave count that I've got. I think we're in a fifth primary wave. Uh, normally, uh, Elliott Wave technicians circle the primary wave. Uh, I don't like, I don't have like a easy circle capability. So I just put these square brackets around my primary. Uh, the uh, regular brackets here, uh, parentheses type thing, is, are my intermediate waves. So this is intermediate, this is minor, and this is primary wave. So I think we've had five waves up. The only caveat in here is that the only thing that's bothered me on Baidu is that on this fifth wave, we really didn't get divergence in the RSI. And I, I really like to see, like see here in the intermediate wave three, when it was in its fifth wave of three, you're getting divergence. That usually, I like to see that at the end of the wave because that kind of tells me that that is the fifth wave and it's the end of the move. I'm not seeing that here. So what I'm starting, what I'm really leaning towards, and I'm gonna put this in as an alternate, is that this is really, a um that we're in the fifth intermediate okay i'm okay with that the fifth intermediate but we may very well just have completed a three you know this could be i'm going to say alternate three up here okay instead of here that this is three and therefore we're working a four right in here and so today is Thursday, July 28th, not July, August 28th, okay, uh, Thursday, August 28th, and Baidu is currently down 2.15, and it's at 213.31, it's been as low as two more points below that, so it's been as low as down to 211, so right down in here today. So this could very easily be working a four that just closes this gap, let's say, pulls down to the bottom of the Keltner channel. That's what these light dotted lines are right in here. And then takes off for the fifth, and then we get the divergence. So right now, uh, I'm kind of leaning towards that. And actually what I'm going to do up here is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a question mark by that because I'm, I'm questioning that, uh, that move. And so that's what I'm thinking. And uh, we'll see if that plays out. All right, let's take a look at candy. Candy is, uh, you know, my original, um, let's see if I could pull up the, um, oh shoot, let's see if I could pull up the weekly chart on Candy, I don't, you know, there it is. Okay, so right now I've got Candy as a fourth primary wave pullback into here, into this, what is this? Uh, time this is uh, May okay so April May all right so then if we come back to the daily chart that that means this okay so this is right now labels a fourth primary move I'm a little skeptical about that because there's not a real clear uh, a real clear ABC um, uh, corrective wave in here okay a zigzag is what I'm looking at <laughs> Not enough coffee here this morning. So zigzag is what I'm looking for. Not as clear. So, and also this move here, uh, I mean, it is rounding up. We're getting a little gapping. So I'm just kind of, we're just kind of wondering. Let me put this in here that says, okay, this is what we're doing. This is, this is currently labeled as four. And, um, and we've got it as a primary four. And actually, therefore, I color those black just to let me know. And therefore, whoop, what I want to do is copy that and put that up here. And therefore, this is a three. Okay, so this is what we're working. And the real question is, is this an intermediate wave one? Uh, or is this the, the alternate scenario in here? is this is an alternate A, okay? And so therefore, instead of one, this could be B, and we're pulling back in a flat. And the reason I'm starting to wonder is just because of this kind of move right now, 
this is looking like a sideways and if it breaks this trend line I think it's going to confirm that it's trying to come back down here and that it's still a part of a larger corrective pattern okay um, so that's that's what we're watching for here on on candy I thought we were going to break a couple of times this move, this move, thought we'd break this trend line, break these highs, and every time it just pulls back down. So it tells me it doesn't seem like it's ready for prime time. And right now it's right at 19 right here. And it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning central time. The market's been open an hour and a half. So, uh, you know, it's down uh, 26 cents. And so it's really, it's not going anywhere yet. Now the moving averages are aligned to the upside. So that's the other caveat. Uh, but right now, picture wise, this just looks like it's not trying to pull, push. So we'll have to keep an eye on candy. Okay. Um, so fun. So fun is a similar thing. I thought this was going to go. We broke this trend line. Uh, I thought there was a potential that it was, it was doing some kind of head and shoulders. Although this, this shoulder... And by that, if you remember, I was thinking it was going to be something like this, you know, and that we had this trend line across the top here. But honestly, this doesn't, the symmetry over here doesn't look as good as that. So um, that's why I'm a little bit wary. And the other thing is, this is just not going. It's like, okay, what, what are we doing here? I'm, I'm a little fearful that we're starting to get into some kind of sideways chop and uh who knows and when you start getting again when you start getting continuing to get these overlapping waves that tells me that we still could be in some kind of corrective mode that this is morphing into something else that we don't see yet and whenever you have uh, let me step out of this let me step out of this this is why you got to be careful on these corrective when you're in when you know you're in a correction okay we know we've had five waves up and we know we're in primary wave one, that that concluded up here, okay? Very clearly, nice extended fifth wave. Now we're in a correction. Theoretically, a wave two can go all the way down to the bottom here, okay? It could still be called a wave two. It's correcting this entire wave. Just look how deep this wave two got here you know, out of five waves. So yeah, can this go a lot further down? Oh yeah, I mean, it can, there's, there's no rule that says it can't go a lot further. So. When you start to see this, can, you, you know, you're looking for it to turn up and try to give you some kind of signal that it's ready to go. But when you start to see this chop and this overlapping waves, then I start to get wary. OK, so right now we just got to keep an eye on what's so fun doing right now. Down 18 cents at 1139. So it continues to just stagnate in here. OK, uh, that's so fun. Cena. Now, Cena is another one that I thought we were ready to go. And... Um, you know, again, I, I felt like we had a big bullish uh, wave here. Actually, that may be a primary wave. We're counting it as an intermediate wave. Uh, and it felt like it was uh, an upside first move because of the break of this trend line. I thought we were getting ready to resume this kind of moves that we had over here. Then we get this big pullback. Well, the bullish scenario is still good. You know, for this wave, notice how, how deep this wave two is. It didn't go below this point. OK, let me make that clear. It didn't go below that point. So now we had this corrective wave, if that's what this was. Now I'm looking for this to go. And but again, I'm getting this overlapping and now it's broken this trend line. So the bullish scenario starts to disappear if this low is broken and this low is 4486. Cena is currently at 45. Cena is actually up 21 cents and the Dow is down 54. So Cena is right now at 45.90. So it's back up in here. It's trying to hold the low for the day today, 45.23. So it's held up above 45 this morning in the first hour and a half. So it's holding this point. So that would be great if this holds this point and definitely holds this point, which is uh, 42.40. So in my opinion, the turn that we're trying to put in and go, sometimes the wave one, when you're trying to get off the ground, it gets a little choppy in here. Um, so the, the, the bullish scenario still holds as long as we don't break this low in here. OK, um, but the fact that this broke is, is a negative. So we got to watch. 
and uh, and be careful. So you don't, I wouldn't be diving in here unless you're willing to, uh, you know, you could always, you know, have your stop right below this point here, 4240. Uh, so, I mean, that's another option. So anyway, all right, that's the best uh, take I've got on Cena. We had talked about the weekly on this a uh, couple of weeks ago. So uh, we should be good. We'll check in probably in early September on the weekly chart again and see how it's doing after it's added a few bars. So, all right, this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Uh, if you felt like this video helped you and uh, you know you benefit, please share on the social media. Just uh, click on one of the little social media buttons there and and share it uh, with your friends and and with the uh, with the world. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. You can uh, have the opportunity uh, to access the trade ideas page, the free PDF I've got for you, and you get notices when I have updates on uh, on posts on the website. Uh, it's just first name and email and you're good to go. So, all right, this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. We will see you on the next video.